Time to Talk 90 Day Fiance. Now, I have two short stories that I wanted to share with you today. The first one is about Liz finally telling her side of the story about the breakup. And let's just say it's a lot different than Ed's. Some might even say Ed lied by omission. That's how Dr. Phil would describe it. And two, I want to talk about there's a picture of Paul and Karini's baby going around the Internet. And, well, people are saying, well, that the baby doesn't look like Paul. We'll get into that story. I mean, these two stories are out there today, but no doubt we've got to talk about it because it's what's going on in the world of 90 Day Fiance. Okay, so let's get into this Liz and Big Ed story next. Okay, so if you've seen the last episode of The Single Life, you'll know that Liz and Ed broke up. And he was distraught, people. He was very devastated by the whole breakup. I mean, he didn't know what to do with himself. He said he missed her. He was devastated on the inside. I mean, he looked lost. Like, I, I, I felt sorry for him for a minute. I was like, oh, Ed, it's going to be okay. He explained what happened. He said that Liz overheard Tiffany talking trash about him, her his daughter. And that she was upset about it. He had asked her what's wrong. She said she didn't want to talk about it. He said he was persistent. No, what's going on? She said she didn't want to talk about it. Then the next thing that he knew, they got back to the room. Liz booked a plane ticket and left the following morning. Now, I felt so bad for him. I was like, oh, you know, for the first time, I feel bad. Because everybody who gets dumped deserves to have a reason. Okay? You can't just dump me and not tell me. I want to know what's going on. So I felt bad for Ed for the first time. Because he was so horrible to, uh, oh, God, what was the other girl's name? Rose, that's her name. Remember how mean he was to bro- Rose? He told her that her breath stink. He did. I didn't make this up. I do not make this up. He was so mean to Rose that I thought it was impossible for me to feel any kind of sympathy for Ed again for the rest of my life. But then this whole Liz story came around and I thought, oh, she didn't even give him an explanation. I should have known who I was dealing with people. I should have known. Okay. Today, Liz has decided to tell her side of the story. She put it on Instagram, and let me tell you, people, Ed left out a big portion of the story. So let's get her side of the story. This is what she said. I left Ed's A in Las Vegas because Tiffany's friend was so rude making the comments, and Tiffany pried it into it. I didn't want it to affect Ed's night because he was oblivious to it, and I kept quiet for him exclamation point. I tried to be the bigger person. Ed tried to pick a fight in old town Las Vegas in front of a crowd asking me, she meant crowd, in front of a crowd asking me what was wrong. And I didn't want people recording us. Well, that's smart. I mean, come on, Ed. She said she didn't want to talk about it. Give her enough time. I kept my mouth shut, begging him to talk about it in private. He kept pushing it. We got back to our hotel and Ed was so upset I didn't want to discuss something so personal in public. He called the airline. Now, this is where the the story is vastly different, okay? She said, Ed called the airline. Again, he called the airline in front of my face at 3 a.m. This little twerp, he called the airlines at 3 a.m. in the morning and he forgot to tell us that? He called at 3 a.m. to book a ticket home, trying to leave me in Vegas. I can't believe it. Oh, my gosh. He left the room to finish the call, and I didn't know he didn't go through with it. Me thinking he went through with it, I went online and booked a ticket myself for $400. Me, being a mom on a budget, I left, and I'm not sorry for it. Now, that's even worse. She didn't really have the money, the $400 to go back home, but she felt that she had to because the little twerp was acting ridiculous. Now, on a personal note, all the sympathy that I had for Ed went right out the window. I was ashamed of myself. How dare I forget how twerpy Ed is and he is never to be felt sorry for, ever, okay? I was slipping, people. I was slipping. I cannot believe it. And then he tried to relay the story to us as if he was the damn victim when we should have known it was the other way around. When? Please answer this question, people. When has Ed showed any compassion for anyone besides his damn self? Oh, my goodness. I mean, you finally get a second chance, Ed, and then you blow that. So no one feels sorry for you, okay? I'm glad she's gone. She's glad you're gone. 
everybody's glad you're gone. Now, I really do feel like not, this is not the only relationship that's not going to work out for Ed. No relationship is going to work out for Ed because he's a twerp, okay? Now, unless he finds some kind of de-twerp class, I don't see his love life getting any better. He is self-centered, full of himself, cocky, and I can go on for days. He needs some kind of help, people, some serious help. And going on the internet, uh, wishing for your perfect Asian woman with the perfect butt, it's all for not. No one's going to date you until you work on that rotten personality. Now, I still like you, but I have to be real with you in the same sentence. And if I'm going to be real, I have to add the word liar to the list. You are the biggest lying, undetorpable, self-centered person there ever is. Ed, get your act together or don't come crying to us when you're alone, okay? It is what it is, people. Now, let's move on. Now, let's move on to Paul and this rumor going around on the internet, okay? There's this rumor going around on the internet. No, before I get to that, there's this picture going around on the internet of Paul's second baby. And according to the rumors, a lot of people are looking at this picture and saying, this, Paul, this baby doesn't look like Paul, okay? They're saying he looks nothing like Paul whatsoever. I mean, if... Why are you guys saying that? He's saying that that's his baby. Are you guys saying that because the, the affair that uh, Karini allegedly had last year, last season, and all of that? What's going on? Or do you honestly think this baby doesn't look like Paul's? I mean, it's hard to say. You know, not every child comes out looking just like their parents. But with their that being said, there's a vast difference. My goodness. I mean... I don't know what to make of it. I mean, that's you guys that's going around saying this baby does not look like Paul. You guys are spreading rumors, okay? Spreading rumors and spreading lies. But I'm I'm, I'm kind of looking at the picture kind of closely. I, mm, I can kind of see what they're talking about just a little bit. But maybe those rumors are out there just because people are saying that Karini had a boyfriend. Remember uh, the trainer and she ran off with him? You guys remember the, all the stuff that went down last season. Uh, is that why everyone's saying this baby doesn't look like Paul and absolutely nothing like Pierre? I mean, you can't really say. I mean, it is what it is. At this point, if Paul's saying this is his child, then we have to accept this is his child. So you guys stop with those nasty rumors, okay? But with that being said, you know, he does look vastly different. Is that bad? So we have a lot to talk about, people, down in the comment section. First, I want to know about, are you guys pissed that Big Ed lied about the whole situation? Because I am pissed. Or am I just some dummy that needs to learn never, ever, ever trust Ed no matter what? Let me know your thoughts on that. And then this rumor going around the internet that this may, that Paul not may not be the father of this precious child. I mean, are you guys being mean and ruthless? Or is there some kind of, like maybe truth to it i mean who could tell we're not a dna test we're just giving our worthless opinions let me know what you think down in the comment section also if you like this video don't forget to click that like button it does wonders for my video if you haven't already subscribed and hit the notification bell don't forget to do that i'll see you guys down in the comment section we have a lot a lot okay guys to talk about today in an adult way no need to argue with each other everybody just has different opinions it is what it is in the meantime, bye for now.